Welcome to this week's episode of a marathon of a catfishing trip on the Tennessee River. We're going to be fishing in one of the most beautiful places here in stunning East Tennessee. Whoa! That's a monster! Oh my god! There's a bite. <laughs> what? Look at that rod band. Oh. Look at that rod band. Oh, oh baby. Hey, Ain't that a stack, guys? Look at that. Three big old blue cats. Good morning, y'all. This is Mark Cooper, your host with Top Knox Fishing, and it's about 5 a.m. here in East Tennessee, and I am headed down to Ch Chattanooga, Tennessee, which is the home of Nickajack and Chickamauga Lake, and I'm going to be fishing in the river section of Nickajack Lake today uh, with a buddy of mine who just started a new guide service. I know you guys ask me if I guide all the time. I don't. I don't have a guide license for it. But my buddy who I'm fishing with today does, and Chattanooga is a great place to go take your family to have uh, all kinds of different adventures. You've got Ruby Falls, you've got mountains to hike on, you've got places to eat. There's a, a baseball stadium in uh, downtown Chattanooga, and there's just tons and tons and tons of stuff to do down there. Plus, it's one of the best catfish fisheries in the whole country. So that's what we're going to be targeting today using a variety of different methods. We're going to be on his boat. We're not bringing the pig sled with us. So uh, I'll be the one, uh, uh, you know, sitting back and relaxing and just reeling in some fish instead of controlling the boat. So I'm pretty excited about that. But we've got us about an hour and a half drive ahead of us. It's still dark out here, as you can tell. And I'm going to show up at the ramp right at daybreak. We're going to get out there and try to maybe catch some fresh skipjack. He's already got some gizzard shad and some shell cracker and uh, stuff like that for us to use as bait. But we're going to try to catch some fresh skipjack for a little while. Um, good Lord willing. And then we're going to go chase some big old Mac Daddy catfish. We'll probably do a little spot walking, drifting, dragging bumping in the evening as the current gets uh, stronger. So uh, that's what you can look forward to on this trip. I hope we catch a toad. We're gonna have some beautiful weather. It's gonna be about 80 degrees. And my ginger butt's gonna have to wear a ton of sunscreen all day. So uh, we'll see what happens. Just stay tuned and come along on the journey with us and uh, have a little fishing adventure uh, from the comfort of your couch or uh, if you're at work on your break or uh, enjoying it in the evening. Uh, that's just uh, what we're going to do. I'm going on a little fishing adventure and taking y'all with me. So stay tuned. <music> have made it down here to Chattanooga right at daybreak and he's going to drop the boat in and we're going to try to catch us some fresh skipjack. Got a cooler full of gizzard shad, got some live brim shell cracker. We may catch some fresh ones of those and uh, we got a low current level out here right now just because there's not a lot of power demand when it's 60 degrees, 70. But as the day progresses, it's going to get warmer and warmer and they'll kick up the generation schedule. At least that's how it rolls. All these dams and on the TV, T, TVA river chain or the Tennessee river chain are all run by either controlling the water level or uh, to generate power. And they generate a lot of power in the winter because it's cold and sometimes in the summer when it's really hot, people run their AC units. So um, for our purposes, we're gonna start out dragging because there's low flow. But then after that, we're gonna uh, do some other stuff for uh, uh, that hat where there is current. So. There's a little bit out here right now, not a lot. We're going to see what happens. There's bait flipping, so that's good.
Aaron Massey with Tennessee River Adventures. I'm guiding out here around Chattanooga. Um, give me a call. We'll catch some big fish. Let's get it. Let's get it. Green? Yeah. yeah. I broke my transistor like uh, last Friday. Aaron might be quiet and reserved at first, but the majority of people who are an expert over the craft are. Aaron has nearly two decades of experience chasing monster catfish on all of the rivers on the Tennessee River chain. He has a successful and prolific tournament fishing background before he decided to start his guide service here in the scenic city of Chattanooga. Viewers who have watched my channel for any amount of time know that I've caught a ton of big catfish. Well, Aaron's at least quadrupled that in his experience here on the river. Fishing sometimes isn't just about the fish, it's about the experience, the beauty you get to see, and the vibe of the entire environment that you're in, and man, Chattanooga has it all to offer. So if you're just now tuning in, join Aaron and I on an adventure to catch a boatload full of catfish, which I'm sure is about to happen. Getting some baits out. We're gonna start out spot locking here on this deep channel ledge and then we're gonna catch some shell cracker and stuff for bait. But he's dropping down a big old piece of gizzard shad. Oh yeah. Let's see it. A catfish would eat that. We got four down rods and then one just thrown out in the river with a lightweight just kind of bounce around out there. But it's time to fish. We got all day, baby. Get Back to the basics. Bluegill fishing with some, what are those, red worms? Yeah. Little red wiggler. Red wiggler. We got rods out while we're catching bait. We want to get folded over while we're bringing in some more bait to feed to them. <laughs> I took my uncle and his son from Atlanta. They had no idea about it. I got trash in their stuff. They had no idea there was a river gorge right there. It's beautiful too. Oh yeah. I, when Lois and I went, the one time I've been there, it was just pouring rain the whole time. Oh yeah, I saw that video. Put the trash on the floor. Sometimes those are really good days. Yeah, like the nasty days are like, Nice and dreary. Yep. It's gonna get overcast later here. Yeah, it's supposed to be increasing. Probably not close enough. Ah! Whole baiters. Oh yeah, they're all whole bait too. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. Big old Just a little red quickler. So when you suspend the uh, fishing, you ever have like one peel and drag and it just comes off? Yeah. It hits the top of their mouth, I think. Yeah. Or they'll get it like right in their uh, their patch right here. Yeah, yeah. And they'll put so much force on it ripping uh, that they'll rip it out of their mouth. Yeah. I've been trying to remedy that. This shit part of it. I think about going to like the big I got to J hook, the big river hook, the Just, giant hook. Yeah. Just let them have it. Got one. This is a little better. A little better. 
This is always fun. Oh, I don't care how old I am. Oh, I enjoy yeah. doing this. That's oh. a better one. What if it make uh, sense to like loosen the drag? Just let that it one. Go. That one got hit. Sweet. Right there. He's on it. Oh, crap. All right, put it down. That one got hit, guys. He didn't just sat there with it. We had one this fall. I was fishing with my buddy Chad. We were had whole 18 inch skipjack on. I just filleted the side down, double hook rig. It peeled the like it was uh, in that Hiawassee area. Yeah. And uh, rod goes goes down, wraps around the motor, just. I was like, the real to, no cat, what? I guess. And then literally two minutes later, 85 pounder. Huh. Same, t same. I just dropped another whole one down and boom! Right there. Go get him. Oh, yeah. He's swimming. Get him, boy. It's our fried. Whee! <laughs> oh, yeah. Decent fish. Nice. Hold him up. Let's go. <laughs> That's a bonus foal. Bonus foal. Our best pro surf Let's go. <laughs> a good one. Keep over here. I don't really know yet. You fight like crazy. There ain't no flows. That's all fish. Yeah. He may be pretty decent. Heck yeah. Good way to get it started. Good way to get it started. I think when the current gets low, they just scatter. They'll be all in the Yeah. No reason for them to sit behind Struggle. current break yeah. or anything because they can just go wherever. Oh, yeah. Let's see some bubbles. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one to start the day with. Sweet. I love, like, the blues down here get so dark. Yeah. They stay shallow a lot. Oh, that's a good fish to start the day with, buddy. Oh, yeah. About 30 pounder. Heck yeah. We on the board, baby. Nice fish. Look, we already on them. That's what, 35 maybe? Uh, 30 something. Low yeah. 30 32. Very nice. That's a good way to get it started. Walmart Demon Dragon. Yes, sir. Don't tell your friends. <laughs> oh. Look at the red eye on that guy. Mean looking fish. Mean looking fish. Good solid fish. Good way to start the day. We got we either got a fish back there or that's a snag. Nope, that's fish. Come off. I gotta be more patient than that one. Move this up. Oh. Spot locking. Spot locking. All right, I'm gonna drop this bait back down. Well, maybe I ought to check it. That's the one that got hit earlier. Yeah, he good. Oh, he's peeing. Solid fish. I lose weight on me. Before we leave. I'm guessing 32. You're probably about right. I'll say 30. Cut the We got a fish going on right there. We try to take a picture real quick, get this big, big bruiser released. He's swimming with it back there. That's that spotted bass head. Yeah. It's a big bait. Come on, eat it. Be a 70 so we can be over 100 pounds in two fish. Gotta be patient with them down roads. I see people reel down on the down rods, but I never. Doesn't hook up all the time. I like to let them kind of swim off. Yeah. A lot of times that 
I use braid, so there's like no stretch, and I just cream it. Really? Yeah. All right. I think that's good. Half pound blue cat, a beautiful fish to start the day. Sun's just coming up over the horizon out there, and we gonna let her grow. Let her go and let her grow. Heck Look yeah. how thick that fish is. Slammed it. Nice. All right. All right, let's get another one. She gone. She gone. Get him, get him, get him, get him. I'm not used to this left-handed reel. Oh, that's a good fish. This, this reel's backwards for me. I mean, I'll fight him. <laughs> that's a good fish. He's going in the, there's trees over there he's trying to get in. Good fish. Hooked up, baby. Yeah, we got full base right on the river, dude. We're just scattered. That's another 30 pound fish. I bet. Probably so. Eh, I don't know, he's got a little head shake action. He ain't no baby. No? Nah, he's coming up. Yeah, he ain't. 15. Get out of that line. You son. Oh, he's got a belly on. You getting that? Yeah. I see him. Ah, oh, fat guy. There we go. 20. Probably so. 18. Oh, he's fat. That's a thick fish. Yeah. Very nice, sir. Yes, sir. All right, we're over 50 pounds. And we're just catching bait. <laughs> That right there is what we are catching these blue cats on so far today. Is this big old piece of gizzard chat, the heads. Get them all nice and bloody. Catfish candy. On the bonus pole. Just two ounces of weight chucked out in the river. Yoink. That's a pretty thick fish. Yeah. I bet he's a little bit over 20. What do you think? Maybe 22? Yeah. Let's find out. What we got? 23. A little bit over 23. Yeah, 23. Easy. Solid 23 pounder. That was a thick fish. Send your grandmama. Great grandma. Yeah. She gone. Oh yeah. All right, over 50 pounds so far. Well, we caught us some bait and 50 something pounds of catfish on the first hole. And we just gonna move up and do it again for a little while until we get enough bait. And then we may start dragging or drifting or who knows. But uh, we got us a bucket going on. We got the live wool going in there. And we, uh, Got some good weather coming in too. Spot number two, we're gonna catch some more bait here, but we'll drop a couple lines down. Definitely a little bit more current right here. Usually there's more power demand on Mondays than Sundays just because people are back at work and stuff. Oh yeah. Think about that. 25 feet. That's why I take off on Mondays, or one of the reasons. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Yep. And Mondays and Tuesdays are mucho power demand. Hey, maybe we can throw an anchor. Not this Friday night, four anchor holes. The current was 30,000. I thought I thought it was going to wear them out. Probably one or two fish anchor. I did hey. better catching bait follow. Yeah. Let's just keep doing this then. Yeah. <laughs> Do what works. Yeah. Alright, I just chucked that one out in the river. Sweet. This current here. Yeah, good looking current. 
Maybe just neck it down a little bit bigger, better right here. Just look at that. Yeah, they turned on two or more at 7 a.m. What's the CFM? 13,807 right now at 8 p.m. So it could be going, it could be more than that. They just haven't put it for nine. Yeah. This looks like 20, kind of. I don't know how it is down here compared to where I'm at. Probably but, a little wider. Yeah. What are we throwing on this one? A little bluegill. Yeah, bluegill. See, guys, sometimes you don't need skipjack. If you don't have access to it, catch you some fresh shelf or... <laughs> <laughs> Panfish shell cracker like we're doing right now. Keep them alive, keep them fresh, cut them up and put them down in a good hole. About 25 feet here and there's some trees and stuff everywhere. We're just gonna spot lock straight under the boat with the trolling motor. And we're gonna throw for bluegill along the bank again. Right here, right here. Yeah. Uh, put it down. He's tasting it. He likes it. All right. Take it down. No punk. That's a big shad. Take it down. Come on. A little half biter, man. We need a screamer. Rod tips in the water. You want to commit? The food joints are like in that. I wasn't looking. My bobber went down. But they're like. Whoa. Gosh. I can't catch a bluegill for nothing. How deep is that? Complete. Yeah. Three. I can't remember that top three and that. I looked on Google Maps and I tried to find it. It was really good. Good street tacos. Yeah, I like that. We've got some food trucks. Uh, one of them is called La Herradura. Yeah. And it's like really good. Yeah. Come on, Mr. Bluegill, eat this red worm. South Georgia, they call them tinny brim. They're so big, you gotta push them right here to get the hook out. Yep. <laughs> Titty brim. I caught a couple dink brim here. I caught like three spots of that. I caught that. I caught my biggest blue cat the other night right here. Really? How big was it? 38. Nice. Uh-oh. You got a hit back there? Taster. Got a little dinker. Man, those dogs love that police siren. <laughs> These are dogs there. Up on that thing. Somewhere over there. You got me a little spotted bass oh, on. Oh, he got Oh, he's falling it in. That was cool. They're over there. I Bait. I'll be throwing our suit. Yeah, hell yeah. Some monster bait. Oh, Maybe yeah. We get a wild hair and make a run down for a little bit. Yep, tooth patch. Sweet. Old spot. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. You can see it. We might run down in the deep hole and give it a look. Monster hunting. Okay. Out of all the 80s, I had my boat football camp in there. Run, Don't matter to me, my man. I'm just along for the ride. Fish on! That was a good little takedown. Yeah. Man, he hit it like he was something, didn't he? Yeah, it was right on the boat. Yeah. I probably lift him in. Boat flipping material. Three fish. 
About an eight pounder. Yeah. Keep that. Easy, buster. Easy. That current might have them riled up, man. We'll yeah. Try a couple of anchor spots. Come on. That hook got them good. Yeah. Ow! Aggressive little thing. That's the action bait. Old bluegill head, wasn't it? A little hole brim. Yeah. Got him. Be good. Come on. Gonna reel my bait pole in before I get there too. Yeah. Yours will be all right. It'll just swing back behind the boat. Come on. Man. That hook got him. He don't like it. He's biting the crap out of you. I'm trying to grip him with it. Good hook set. That's some hooks Ricky gave me. Yeah. I forget the name of those. They're from that Arwood guy. Let's see him. Pretty fat blue cat. He's chunky. Yeah. He's built like them big ones where they get their real head heavy. He's probably got the jeans to be bigger. Yep. Hopefully we'll see him in about five years. Yep. See ya. You see how it's overcast now and they're all coming up? Yeah. Activity period. Bloop. Uh -oh. Another fish on. Hold on. A little feisty guy. Whoa. Oh, did you get some a little fight in there? I don't think big. He's so close to the boat. Yeah, we're in like what, 25 feet of water? Yeah. He's gonna be a decent little fish. Full grass. Is that a little flathead? Yeah, yeah a little flathead. Nice. Spicy thing. Fish number five. Four? Four. Whisker, yep, that's what happens. Whenever you get slammed uh, on one and it pulls out, I think that's what happens. The big ones just put so much pressure on it, it just rips it out. Yeah, he was close to it, huh? Yeah, if that was like a 20 pounder, he'd have definitely been gone. Yep. Beautiful fish. Beautiful flat. Look at the colors on them. Yeah, a lamprey on them. Beautiful fish. Come back when you're bigger. So explain to us what we're doing here. What are we fishing? Why are we fishing it? We're fishing some submerged timber. And we're on an outside bend. So hopefully we're catching a little bit of generation flow we have coming from the dam on the outside here. Uh, seems like fish are active on our last two spots. Yeah. So hopefully pick up a big one or two. Yeah, we're gonna try an anchor spot. We're gonna be tossing them back behind the boat here right on the tree that's down there somewhere. This right here, guys, if you've never seen it, is called a drift sock. Basically, it'll open up in the current here, back behind the boat, and it just pulls the boat back because we don't have a ton of current. Make sure the bass throws on top. Yeah. This out of the way. I think that'll open? Uh, you gotta twist it around. Redo. And that thing will open up and it just forces the parachute open basically or the sock and it just pulls the boat straight back keeps you straight we're using bluegill and shad on this spot 
space we have on the hooks? Three? Something like that. Two. You want me to start checking? How you like to set that? Uh. Hey, Ooh, a red horse. Yeah, let's get that out here. Carp sucker. Some OG big cat fever rods, the first ones ever. Still kicking. Oh yeah. Back, straight the back back. You gonna do the head? Yeah, yeah right here. How far are we from that tree? Uh, 50 foot. Okay. So a decent little lob. And you want one of these in one of the center bit rods? Yeah, of course not. That one's got a giant shell cracker on. Good size bait. That way? Yeah. Okay. See that hole in the bank? Right there? Yeah, for that hole. Okay. Must that hole. There we go. Yes, a nice little spread going here. Bonus pole. <laughs> I always pull it back so everything's in line, you know? Yep. Piece of red horse. No scales on the tip. These old Swedish ambassadors are so much nicer than the I new ones. The new one. Yeah. Good job. I went to uh, Shimano, Dakota. I actually like my favorite reel, really. They're getting harder to find is the old Pen 310. GT one or yeah, yeah. those are bulletproof. I got some of those are 15 years old. Nothing's ever been done to them. Simple reels. I don't think I've even broke a uh, worm gear on them. I got like six of them. Here's a little Tennessee River delicacy. Squish it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Squisher. Get them head juice. Yeah. Are you just as far as I can? Yeah, send that sucker on the river. Okay. What angle do you like to do that? Right, 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 there. right there. Okay. That'll that look nice when it gets bent over. Yeah. You know when it comes down, it means something. Oh, off the left of that one. There we go. One more rod. Okay. Where's that? Right there. That 310. Okay. Yeah, toss it over towards that bank. Okay. What kind of bait we want to use that bluegill right there? Yeah. Already in the tree over there? Fish might grab it out of there. Fishing. 
works for me. We got us a spread here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rods out. Tree back there, trees over there, a little bit deeper out there. See what happens. Oh. There we go. He's swimming with it. Pecker head. Coming out here with it. Get him. Oh. Turn the boat. Turn the boat. I got a mess going on here. I'm reorganizing all my stuff while we're anchored up. Little one. Little one. Hopefully you catch up to him and he shows you something different. I don't know. Hey, Anchor fish number one. That was up shallow. Yeah. He's getting squirrely on us. Oh. Dang, he got shoulder, maybe. I'll be a feisty 20. Yeah. Ah. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Better than I thought. Yeah. He ate that bank off that bait, or <laughs> bait off the bank. He <laughs> started swimming out. Reel down on him. There he is. I guess I need to be a net man, don't I? Yeah. Just want to film me doing it by myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll swap the places. Whoa, whoa. Look at that rod band. Hold Look at that rod band. Hold him, hook. Oh, baby. Easy, buddy. He's a little bigger than 20. Damn. Yeah. Oh, come on, head first. Got him. Okay, there's another 30. There's another 30. Nice. Oh, he's a little bit, he's bigger than that first one. I'm guessing 36. I don't want to tear your rod up. That'd be fun. <laughs> That's a toad. Yeah. I don't know, man. That might be 35. Yeah, 35, 36. Good fish, my man. Yeah, we'll take them all day long. Heck yeah. We having a good old morning. Uh, back in the rod holders. Fish like this and double this size is what you can expect to come down here and fish with this fella here. Oh yeah. Regular, regular occurrence for a fish like this. Now, of course, you're going to have tough days and stuff like that. It's just part of fishing, but. Look at that. Biggin'. A man after my own accord. Fishing the boat. Get that rod back out. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the one that was snagged? No, that's the one I threw up there, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a dry shad, wasn't it? Uh... I don't remember. I think it was. I'm bad about that too. Like, what bait was that? It was one of them. Something. Yeah. Something. It was a cut bait, I know that. Some kind of fish. <laughs> was that the last bait I threw out? Yeah. That was that bluegill. Was it? I think. Sweet. Yeah. That's for sure. We in. I'll say 34 for. I bet 36. He's going 34. How much is your net weight? About two pounds. Well, I don't know. I put this new netting on there. We can check. We can check afterwards. Yeah, that new netting is uh, heavier than the old one. That's saying 40, so 38. We were both wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. There we go. That's a thick fish. Yeah. Good golly. Look at that thick sucker. He tricked the crap out of He me. did. We were like, ah, that's a dink. Nope. This is the first time I've tried to do any kind of reorganization to tackle when we get a, about a 40 pounder in the boat. I'm just gonna have to do that for the rest of the day. <laughs> that or eat some food. We'll eat sandwiches. Yep. Here's about a 40 pounder going back. Look at that fish. Let's see the side of them. Let's see the colors on them. What a fat fish. Look at the, the dark blue. The big ones, when they get real big, get this hump on their back. Oh, hump back. Come back when you're 60. Yep. Good fish. Whoa. He was ready. Look at Whoa. that. Look at him swim off. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, it's my turn. <laughs>
I'm gonna start uh, re-rigging stuff. We're gonna do bumping later, so that's what I was messing with. I'm gonna continue doing that. Oh. Let's go. Here. I don't know if I'm gonna let her bend down there. Oh, put it down. Put it down. You got a taste of it. Come on, come back for it, honey. Eat that bait. You still on it? Yeah, he's slacked up. Yeah, look at, you think that's the weight rolling down or you think that's fish? Ah, he put a lot of slack in it. Just rid that slack up a hair. back tight with it. If he liked it, y'all would come back. Yeah. He didn't pull on too hard. No. Here. Oh, he, he hit it right there. The one you just moved. Right after I bumped it? Yep. That one right there went down. You want that bait moving? Yep. It may wear him out dragging. Not often that I'm the one sitting back and relaxing. <laughs> Front porch. Front porch sitting. Get him. Hold him up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Come off. Yeah. Dang it. Son of a gun. Oh, well. Felt decent. Yeah. We'll drag, right, we'll drag right by here and get them. Yeah. No bait. No bait. Fishing credit. Changing up the tactics now. We're going to start dragging baits. He's got these big, long dragon sinkers. And we're just going to pull them up the river because there's not a ton of flow. So we'll be able to get them down and we're just going to pull along the bottom with it. Some high tech catfishing, basically. All right, guys, so we caught those fish anchored up, spot locked, and now we're going to do some uh, dragging and drifting here on the uh, upper end of Nickajack Lake. And uh, Mr. Massey here is going to show us the type of rig he's using and the planer boards we're using to do this. Hey, y'all. So this is my dragging rig. I make my own sinkers. It's a traditional slinky weight, which is uh, made famous down in Santee. Well, first with trout fishing in the Northwest, but... I got brought to Santee and a lot of people use it for catfishing. Yeah. I attach a dowel rod, which makes it stand up. It's nice and slender, gets through uh, wood and rock pretty good. I use a straw to float to keep from getting tangled too much. And we've got, you know, a chain swivel here. This is what it's hooked up to. We got an 80 pound leader line. Nice long leader to get it off the bottom. That's about this what, four or five feet a leader? Yeah, about so. Yep. And you can adjust this depending on how, how you want your bait to ride. Yep. I think when the current slows down, they tend to suspend a little bit, so I let it ride high. And uh, Let's see what board we're using here. Got the Generation One spread them. They get your baits way out there to the sides. Got my name on there in case someone runs them over. Yeah. Uh, or if you want a guide trip, call him here. I'm gonna put all his links and stuff in the description below. But yep. that's his number. If you guys want to do a guide trip down here, he's licensed, Coast Guard captain, all the insurance, all you need to do it, and he can catch some fish as you guys have saw and what you're about to see too. Yes, sir. Give me a call. Got some shads, a white bass, a little bit of everything. Just cuts them up the center there to let the, all that blood come out. Oh yeah, fresh, fresh. Get these clean and boiled out. How many of them you want? Uh, that's a free spread them. Okay. Anything else? That's pretty good. Three spreads? Yep. We're going to 
to drag against the flow just so we can keep our speed down. Oh, professional backlash. <laughs> Up. Yeah. How much line you want behind it? Is it good already? Ooh, these are. This is a different stop. Yeah, it's a locking one. Put okay. it in there and lock it down. Put it all the way deep and just lock it. Okay. This one we got on it. I can put big baits on the boars, and that way if they bite it, if they bite it, they mean it. Yeah. I don't want a pecker bite on the planter board. Now, what size? Uh, what bait did we put on this yellow? Whole shad. Whole shad. A half shad. How far back you want it? Oh, that's going out. Real far. Yeah. Chattanooga Fire Department. I've never seen that boat. All right, so now once we engage this reel, just like you're pulling for striper, that board will pull that bait out away from the boat, so we'll have a big spread coming down this river channel. She out there. Get one going on that side now. We're out here eating some uh, fresh uh, bacon chicken salad and we're dragging some baits for catfish. They're just chilling. Midday bite or two. Is that a fish? Yeah. There you go. You got him? Yeah. Oh, lower. Fish on, baby. Salad bite. Chicken salad bite. Let's go. He fight. He felt heavy. Hard to tell. He's trying to come in though. Oh. Whoa. Cheers to getting blown. Well, Not damn. the chicharrones. <laughs> Go. Bringing them in here. Still decent? I don't know yet. You got them pulled back on me. He's over there. Oh, yeah, he carried it back out into that channel. Where's he at? Right there. Oh, he's a fun sizer. Yeah. I must have felt the planter board. Yeah. They open their dang mouth in this current. Yeah. Come on, buddy. There we go. Fish on. Very nice. That's like gonna be a good one. Yeah. Wait, dude. That's a good one. Yeah. Nice and dark. Teenager. Yeah. What bass? You like the old white bass head. There we go. Look at that back out here. Yes, sir.
Alrighty right. guys, nice little teenager there, probably 14, 15 pounds. Dragon, first dragon fish of the day. We'll let him go. He gone. He gone. Missed a bite, missed a bite. Back rod holder. Come on, baby, eat the bait. Eat the piece of fish. Got him. Oh, yeah. Got him. Fish on, baby. Woo. Hold him up. It's that fresh piece of bluegill. How's he feel? Uh, Another teenager? Yeah, maybe a 10 pounder. So, bend in the pole. Slime on the line. Oh, yeah. That was just a flat line in the back, you know? <laughs> kind of coming at you a little bit. Fight. Something going on right here. Oh, is that a snag or is that a fish? I don't know. That looks awful fishy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, look at how that board's kicking. Yeah, that's a fish, I think. Put it down. Uh, I like to be patient with them boards. Yeah. He hit it and quit it. Hit it and quit it. What we got there? Blue cat. One blue cat? Oh yeah. We push it. Boom! There you go. Yeah. Ten pounder. Yeah. Add it to the scoreboard. Oh, we got teeth, man. Should we take a video picture? Yeah, we'll just quick release. The same. Beautiful fish next to the highway so this audio is probably hot garbage but we catch a fish nice. judge the dive on here uh, that's, that's a belly flop <laughs> <laughs> that's a fish put it put it down yeah. i think you put it down you got him you got him there we go. Yeah, baby. That looks a little better. I'm just gonna be the cameraman for a little while. I guess this is technically a double. Close enough. Planter board rod. He ain't really doing anything squirrely, is he? I don't know. It's hard to tell. This one's getting hit. Either that's a fish or... Good gravy. We got a triple? What's going on here? We need some fish here. Yeah. You need some help on that board? May have a triple going. Don't make him get his own fish in. That fish is all the way over there. There we go, baby. Oh, he's running. He running. He's going towards the bank. This is a whole lot of fun. Found some good action over here. <laughs> yeah. Bing, bang, boom. 16 feet of water. Just like that somewhere. Yeah. He ain't really done anything super squirrely yet. I know. Kind of staying down. Let's see a fitty. Taking any line yet? No. I bet 20 something. 
Yeah. There we go. Nice fish. Nice fish. Mid twenties. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. He's a little bit higher than mid twenty. Oh, he's good. Pushing thirty. Yeah. Nice. Nice job, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, I'm catching one now. <laughs> Trying, I was trying to get hit again. Sweet. Got about a 30 pounder on the floor, another fish hitting back here. Got a half our baits out of the water. He may be on it. Might be. Sometimes little dinks get on here and swim with it. Looks like he's swimming it out deep a little bit. Yeah. There it goes. There it oh, goes. Man. There it goes. With it. Oh, he put it down. He put it down. Get his ass. <laughs> I think I got him. All right, yeah, we're hooked up. He hit it and came at us. I'm way behind the scoreboard. All right. Coming at me. Oh, there's some weight. There's some weight. Yep. Yep. Just cranking them oh, on shit. in here. Hard bite. Hard bite. I don't really know yet. It's hard to tell with the plane aboard the box. Yeah. What's going on right here? What's going on right here? Damn, that's I think that's on. That had a board on it, didn't it? Yeah. Let's go there. Can you drop it? Okay. Well, that was almost a triple. <laughs> or quadruple. Very nice, very nice. A good one. We need. What do you want to use by? Where do you want? To? Yeah, I'll throw this one out first. We got those fish in the live well up there, guys. And we getting our baits back out because they are biting. Some active fish right here on this bend. So far we caught him vertical uh, spot locked, uh, anchored, and now dragging. Yep. I don't know. Quad 
Make sure that now, Ethan. Yep. Got it. How many baits do we need? Get orange. Uh, I'm not sure. the speed we're at they like it 0.3.4 have I got a fish right here yeah got a fish yeah Holy I think I think so hard as hell yeah I don't know. I guess. I don't know. Got to get this bait back out. Get a chad. Get a chad. Yeah. Well, we thought this one was two pounds, but it's bigger. We don't know how big yet, though. Swimming with the boat. Just chilling. It's a 30 pound turtle. <laughs> Where's he at? Well, what do we got? Blue cats down here is just the coolest color. Get on up here, buddy. Come on. Damn. <laughs> Bigger than what I thought he was going to be. He's been pulling that planter board for 10 minutes. That's 20 pounds. That's crazy. What the heck? That completes the whole every every rod got hit. Yeah. Nice. Got that fish on the water column right there? I don't know. That might have been him right here. Yeah. Well, right here. This one's getting hit. Oh yeah. Well, that thing was blown up on the surface. Really? Yeah, he came off though. But he came up on the surface out there and was like, like way behind the plant. Yeah. Holy crap. I bet I don't have any bait left on this. Yeah, he came up to the surface. Wow. We got some mess of big blue cats, don't we? Oh yeah. I'll measure that way that big one. That's a three good fish. Oh yeah. Right back to back to back. Back to back to back. Did we let one go over it, Prolies? Yeah. That was a big one, right? Yep. 31. 32. 30 and a half. He held it 29. Easy, Bo. Easy, Bo. Not a bad fish. Nice. Heck yeah, brother. Uh, Ain't that a stack, guys? Look at that. Three big old blue cats. It's probably about 80 pounds of all that. Maybe a little bit more. Golly. Big old blue cats. <laughs> Here's, is it going? Yeah. Here's a 30 pounder. Something like that. Big old fish. Let him go. 
graceful. <laughs> Here's another upper 20. Big fish, man, we just wearing them out today. All right. Yeah. Barge bite or the Southern Bell bite? We'll see. Either way, we've caught a lot of fish already and it's just now 126. Here, holy smokes. That flew, holy crap. Yeah that flew across the top this is a good fish here grab my phone and uh we are hooked up guys this ain't moving this is a good fish it's gonna be two videos okay. i'm like zoomed in one time what the crap you see where it's at the point i got gotcha. you okay yeah Jeez. hold them hooked Feels pretty good? Yeah. You want to net him too? Yeah. I guess you can net him. I ain't even. It's up to the boat yet. Jeez. Winds are blowing. Rods are pretty heavy. It's a big water blank. Yeah. Gotta be decent. The way it hit it? Yeah, it looked good. Come on, buddy. Just easing them up. When you're fighting these big catfish, you don't want to horse them. Go. Unless they're like about to swim into a tree or something. <laughs> we're kind of out here in no man's land right now. Yeah, it's wide open. All right, we're about to get vertical with it. Did he hook himself sideways? I don't know. He's just a hard fighting 20. Yeah. Yeah, hey, we'll take him. Well, here. You got him? Yeah. You got the rod? Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, now we got him. Mid 20. Nice. There we go. Another solid fish. Woo! <laughs> Solid fish, solid fish. White bass head. Good looking fish. Pretty it as it gets out here. Either we're getting hit on that rod or we're snagged on the bottom. Maybe bottom. We'll keep it rolling just in case. It popped free, it was bottom. Sweet. We're back, we're back drifting. Dragging. Ow! Very nice. Solid 24 pounder. Oh, I might have to come on the other side. We got sun glare, sun glare. Solid 24 pounder. We're having a time out here, aren't we? Oh yeah. Good fish. Good action out here. Yeah, fun time down here. Graceful. <laughs> so we have worn out the catfish dragging now. and We're just gonna leave it be for a little bit. We've had our fun. We've got us a good video going. And now we're gonna go catch a catfish way number four. And that is bumping at the generators upstream with the rods in our hands. And uh, before that, we're gonna try to catch some fresh skipjack for bait because We've used a lot of bait and there should be some skipjack at the dam. And then we're going to bump some whole ones on the bottom and try to catch a toad because now we're hog hunting. Let's get them.
see if we can't catch us a skipjack or two. something silly and drop them down. his butt straight down here alive. Go ahead, throw.
I can catch a skipjack. I know. <laughs> Got one. Oh yeah. It's 12 to 2. 12 to 2, 12 to 2. Yeah. They start Brim Reaper. The Brim Reaper. <laughs> Not really one. It's still the BOC name, man. Ah, I missed one. Dang it. Yeah, let it get low and rip it. Yeah. They're a little bit speed sensitive. They want it down deep, but they also want it kind of moving. Down deep and moving? Yeah. Like a reaction pipe, huh? Yeah. Get it down to them. I like the angle I got right here. Yeah. I'm going to show you all what we're using to bump here. We got a Akuma Komodo, this is a 470 size. He's got a 360. We got a Big Cat Fever bumping rod. And we've got a three-way swivel, 17 pound dropper leader. I've got two ounces of weight on, he's got four. 100 pound leader line to barrel swivel, 100 pound. Uh, I've got a double hook, octopus J hook rig on, and then a big peg float. And uh, you just set the tarnation out of it once uh, they eat it. Let's see what happens. It's bumping time, baby. I'm doing about two. It's better on the hook. I usually hook it on the bottom. Uh, it's going to spin like crazy. Hook it from the top, like right there. Kind like this? No, like this. Uh, yeah. Well, like in the center. Uh, yeah. That too much? That'd be alright, just let me eat it for a second. Just slowly let it down. About two and a half miles per hour. See, I already hit bottom. Yeah, I'm, I'm, all, I'm stuck on the bottom. Got it. Good? Yeah. I let it down too quick. Eventually you'll find out like what the best shoot is to drift here. Yeah. Where it goes on the bottom the best and drifts down. Like what line do they get on? Yeah. I'm way back here. It's okay. I like, I like to still feel that bump, huh? Yep. Damn boy. There's one. There's one. Holy shit. <laughs> you dumped the crap out of it, man. <laughs> Good fish. 
Man, he dumped the crap out of it. Jeez. Gotta get that splice in your rib. <laughs> You're good. He's not a huge one. Oh, there he is, jumping all over the place out there. We just gotta watch the pillars. You see how it thumped the crap out of it? I saw your up. Bow up. Bonk. Look at that. Come on, buddy. Get on up here. Oh. Turn up my old plug, Nicky Jack, catch a bait. I got a 60 amp plug there. Hopefully it holds up. Damn. Started breaking current. You sure you ain't digging? I don't think so. <laughs> well, you just got to get it through that. You just got to get them to go in between it and then just take turn off the trawl motor once you get in between. And just, you want me to turn it off in the drift? Uh, yeah, once we get through this. Okay. I'm about to, as long if you think we're okay. I think we're going straight through. Okay. So I can turn it off? Yeah, turn it off. God, here he comes. Bump. First bumping fish in your boat. Catching them four ways. That's the first bumping fish in my boat. You damn christened it. Ah. <laughs> well, there's our bumping fish, guys. Da, da, da. First bumping fish in the boat. Ever. Ever. Let's see him. Not a bad fish. Mean. Mean as hell. Not a bad fish, not a bad fish. Whoop. Graceful as ever. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Yep. Same yeah, thing. I, I fished the Troy River. Yep. The bottom. Same thing. Just think you're jigging for walleye. Yeah, the get cream zone don't come out here without a live jacket I'm gonna spot where the line won't go out there Did that ever happen yeah we're just kind of in an eddy yeah which ain't necessarily bad yeah Yeah, dude. Donk. Yeah. Like that. There's one. <sighs> Little one. <sighs> Come on. Go on up here. Come on. He 
Here's that blue cat. Oh, he's biting down on my finger. Hey. Whoops. <laughs> there he is. Whoop. The dumb boy bait time. Pretty good flow right here. Bottoms away. that trolling motors on. Whoa. Whoa. There go. Yeah. I think. Or he just hit it like a the Dickens. Jeez. Troll motor should be on the way we're moving. God, that thing hit the crap out of it. You can turn it off since I got this fish on. Uh oh. Yes, this may be a large one. For real? Maybe. I don't know. He's you fighting. You never know, really, huh? Yeah. And he's going upstream in the current. It's always good. I'm back down on the corner. I mean, you turn it off. You just float back. What the heck? Gosh, he hit the crap out of it. We've been eating weeds. Just come on up here. Oh, that one's a little better. He ate that whole dummy piece. Yeah. <laughs> good use. There we go. Well, you think they're in here. They're probably super aggressive. Yeah. A little better. A little better. That was a hit and a half, good lord. It's a clean little fish. Hooked him on the side of the face, that's why he fought so dang hard. Oh! And the... That's why. Lord. He's been fired, I don't wanna hurt him too bad there. Where are they at? In that milk crate. I'm not gonna leave them suckers out. Yeah, I just don't. Quick release. Oh. Yeah, hold him up there. Hold him up there. Hold him up there. Oh. In the grave. Ah. They are just so dark down here. He's mean. Jeez, huh? ah. scrap. Well, after that fish ate that bait, I'm just gonna go even bigger. <laughs> Until they stop eating it. Yum. So basically, we just get like up in the boil and then we're dropping them baits right back behind the boil on the bottom and just walking them back down in this current. And these active catfish are pushed up into the boil basically feeding on bait coming through it. So if they're up here, they're usually feeding. So there's the boil right there. Current's coming this way and we're bumping that way. All right, come on, Fitty. Eat this bait. like totally messes up at the absolute worst possible time. Oh yeah. That's the thing is you need a whole new, I don't think my uh, charger. You know, charger bank or anything. Yeah, everything's gotta be different. They're eating these big giant baits. Whee!
Come here. Come here. Another whole whole baiter eater. Look at the bronze on him. Yeah. Oh. Come on, hook. No, I almost lost the bait. Bait almost fell out. There's one. Boop. Number five bumping. Ready? Hey guys, I have a fly fishing. Look at this cut fish. <laughs> We're fly fishing, guys. So we nuked the trolling motor batteries bumping, but we caught six bumping fish. Now we are just going hog hunting because we've got skipjack and every other kind of bait there is, and we've caught a ton of fish. So now we're going after one big one. We've now moved way downstream to the river gorge uh, and we're spot locking next to a 100 foot hole. We're, we're in uh, 48 right now. We've got to rig rods for anchor fishing and stuff now from dragging. So we just kind of chilling here for a little while waiting on the evening bite. Getting us a fresh piece of skipjack we caught at the dam. Yeah, baby. Skipjack relocation. Beautiful. You want to drop it down? Yeah, I got one right there already. Which is uh, up okay. there? Okay. That looks beautiful. Did you get the smash on her? No. Bonus pole. That's a proper chunk bait. <laughs> Take the skin off it. Yep. Like that. Like that? Yeah, that should be good. Look at They ought to eat that. I like it. They ought to eat it. Taster. That looks good. Yeah. I'm talking fish. <laughs> Come on, take it down. Take it down. Take it down. Take it down. Should I reel on him? I don't know. I like to be patient. It's on you though. He's kind of like going upstream with it now. It's all whatever you want to do. Let's just let him do his thing. He's kind of coming up with it. I thought I reel on them, they're gone. Look, he's coming up with it. All like swimming up? Yeah. Kind of looks like it. You can do whatever you feel the best, man. <sighs> 
I don't want to tell you something that doesn't work. I mean, I... <laughs> I'm going to reel on Came off. There's a bite. <laughs> yep. Oh. <laughs> That's on. We might be hooked up. Yeah, maybe. Jeez. Give him hell. Make sure it hooks good. Yeah, boy. That's in there. Boy, that went down, didn't it? Good lordy. I think you had one eye left out of the water. <laughs> that pulling that lever. It's still there, right? Yeah. Just trying to come up, I guess. He's been waiting on. He's decent. Yeah. I think he's one of them aggressive. About another thirty. He's fighting though. And he's hustling. Okay, oh, there's some damn. drag. Okay. What is the same one it bit earlier? Maybe, I don't This one was pretty aggressive. Do you remember what bait that was? A skipjack chunk, nice. body section. A little flathead. Yeah. Those flatheads put up a fight. Man, that was a bite. Try to grab him by the back. Little flathead. Oh, come here. Oh, he whisker hooked, didn't he? Nice flathead. Heck yeah. Oh. Came right out. That's high teens, bro. Yeah. Nice fish. Nice and. He's got a spot right there. Nice and. Heck yeah. He slammed it. Let him go. Yeah. Let him go. Bourbon at you. See ya! <laughs> that was a nice little hook set. Yeah. Chunk going back down. That's how you like to hook him, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, he's good to me. All right. We trying new stuff today. Whoa! That's a monster! Oh my God. Dude, I can't, that's awkward for me. Oh, it's backwards? Yeah. Okay, I got it. That gum surf pole, that went down. Holy smokes. That went down. That was aggressive. Yeah. I just bumped it too, you see it? Yeah. That might be that mark we saw on the side thing. You just asked me the biggest pole in that, biggest fish on that surf pole was. Hopefully we find out. This one's staying down. That's deep water out there too. <laughs> you gonna grab my phone? Yeah. Uh, all right, y'all, we're hooked up. On the surf pole, the bonus pole. He slammed it. That went down. Super aggressive bite. We're out. We're down here in deep water now. Yeah. We're in like 45 next to 100. He's got it bowed over. I just kind of eased him up. Uh -huh. Do I put it in between my legs? I put it right in my pelvis. You'll get a bruise sometimes, but it'll be worth it. Oh really? Yeah. It's one of them aggressive twenty pounders again. Yep. What? A little flathead? Blue? Oh no, blue. The other like mid twenty blue. That sucker smoked it. He did. I'm twenty pounders getting us excited. Yeah. Another hey. Fish. We're on some numbers and uh good quality fish, fun. Oh yeah. 
can get in it. You got it? It's still recording? Yeah. It's, it's tough with that surf pole. It's a solo net job. Oh. Okay. Come on. <laughs> this is just a surf ride. This there is you for go. This is for entertainment purposes. <laughs> if this was a giant fish, we would not be doing this. <laughs> okay. Oh, another 27. He's got, he's got a belly on him. Oh, they keep growing every time we bring him in the boat. They look skinnier in the water. Yeah. Another big one. Yeah. He's pushing 30, bro. Yeah. Heck yeah. Whew. Good stuff. Hold him hook. That fish right there ate a big old skipjack head like that. So we're going to throw another one out on the bonus pole. All right. All right, we got another 28, 30 pounder going back. Slammed it on the bonus pole. We thought she was gonna be a fitty, but we'll take her. Nice. Blow splatter everywhere. Bonus pole. I think it's awkward as heck to fight a fish with, but it's fun. I love it. I like the way it bends. Yeah. It's so long. I think it hooks fish better. Yeah. Nice slow taper to it. Yoink. That bait's coming to the surface out there, starting to dimple. Stuff's getting active. That front's coming in. You can kind of see it up there. Yeah. Definitely increasing clouds. Yep. We kind of have bluebird. wind's dying. It was like bluebird this morning. It was. Totally bluebird. Spot good. number, I don't know, but I'm sure we're going to catch fish at it. Let's go. I'm feeling awful brimmy on this pole. Hell yeah. Spot number infinity. We've been putting in the, we've been putting in the work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do we catfish every way possible today? <laughs> yeah, except on a float. That's like the only other way I know that we have not done. All it's like a just, suspended? Yeah. I think we've caught it every other way imaginable. <laughs> I feel like that in and of itself is an accomplishment. Yeah. I'm out. You know, I'm pretty... We throwing a whole one on today because or right now because why not? Yeah, trying to catch a monster. We trying to catch a monster. Oh yeah, I'm just dripping that all over my bag. <laughs> got the double hook rig baby she going down bonus pole you done the same take yeah said big bait big fish little bait all fish yep <laughs> bait i think that is a double bait is that you or me is that me this is you we're just trying to snack get on it Eat it. Eat it. Come on. Take her down. Rod tips in the water. He's swimming out. If it goes in the water, we'll get it. He likes it. Come on. 
See what you got there. Is that the stinger hook? I think so. I can't remember which side I dropped it down on. I think it's that one. Come on, man. Biting all funny. He's just sitting there with it in his mouth. He definitely wants it. Come on. Four pounder on that giant whole skipjack. <laughs> he did. That little flathead ate that whole skipjack. <laughs> what? That's insane. Hey, we put him on the scoreboard. He ate our whole skipjack. That's a baby. Yeah. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> what the heck? Just a baby. The bait's gone. That little sucker ate that whole skipjack. They're active today. No bait too big. We're going back in with another double. The last two raw for the day, we're setting up on a deep hole, anchoring. Gonna throw the drift sock out and try to get a toad. Oh, that camera's blurry. That one's better. We need two fish for 20, maybe? Yeah. Anchor sock being deployed. Yoink. And that guy will just open up back there and keep it straight. At least that's the idea. Skipjack. <laughs> well, it's trying to open up. Come on. Come on, Bertha. We'll probably still die from back. Yeah. Cutting us some fresh skip. Right, put it down. That one's getting hit. Really? Yeah. He may still be on it. Man, I thought that was going down. It was slow. It was slow. Dinker. We got us a dinker. Same pole. He like hit it, halfway bend it over, and then put it back. I swam upstream with it. Oh, you can have him. That's that whole bait. 
Yeah. You got him? That's the whole bait. Hooked up on the whole bait. Whole double skippy. Man, what a pretty backdrop. Big or not? He's decent. Yeah. Heck, they all been pretty decent today. Nice slow pull down. Yep. Kind of ate it and swam up. Oh, look, he's doing the swirly. It's a baby. What in the world? <laughs> I think I blew his belly out. I have to burp him. Yeah. We got our skipjack back. <laughs> yep. That one may be our first one below 10 pounds today. Eh. Ah, he may be over 10, just by a little bit. Belly's belly butt out my head. Yeah. Kind of hard to throw this Another one. monster bait going out. Almost too low a light to use the GoPro anymore. Well, heck, he got out there. <laughs> you want to get him? You get him. Get fast boat to death. Fast boat duck. That's on you, man. I think you can. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Ah. Let me tell you what a daggum marathon it's been. I left the house at five o'clock this morning. It's now like nine something here. And we have just caught fish all day everywhere doing everything. And it's just been a straight up blast. And uh, I ain't looking forward to this drive home, but it was worth it. All right, guys, well, we had a freaking hell of a day. I'm gonna let uh, Mr. Massey here tell us uh, again who he is and what he does and uh, where he can find uh, his uh, website to get, book a guide page or trip to come and do this and uh, just have a good time like we did. Today. Well, we had a heck of a day, we caught 19 fish, some pretty good ones in the mix. I think we averaged 20 pounds of fish. Something like that. Uh, you can look me up, I'm, I have a Facebook page, it's Tennessee River Adventures Inc. Um, I have a website, TennesseeRiverAdventures.com. You can uh, email me, BassMassey at Gmail. I'm easy to find. Uh, if you want to have a day on the river, give me a call. Catch a big giant fish. He just started guiding, but he's been fishing this river for how long? Since 2008. 2008? Yep. Yeah, you run up and down the river, look at his graph. There's just hundreds of waypoints. So he's going to put you on fish or uh, do his best. You know, they don't cooperate sometimes, but you'd be with a good guy to help you get on them for sure. So uh, we had a hell of a day today and, uh, you know, check him out and come catch some big giant catfish. He's got lots of fish over 70, 80 pounds and this is the place to do it. Yes, sir.